Honestly guys, this has just made me that living alone is going to be the worst thing of my life. I need to call my, to call my mum and ask her because I don't want to give him, I don't want to overdose my dog. We just don't see each other anymore and it's really sad really. It sounds really sad but we've kind of forgotten about each other. With my college projects, until I know what I'm doing, I'm not okay. Bunny, are you hungry? Mm. Would you like some dinner? Would you like dinner? Of the amount of time we spend with each other, I love and I wouldn't replace it for anything in the world because we see each other perfect amount of time a week. Honestly, guys, this has just made me that living alone is going to be the worst thing of my life. Like, so many times, I've, like, been like, oh, my God, I'm so excited to, like, have enough money to go and move into my own place, like, move into, like, a flat, you know, design it how I want, live by myself, be alone. I've been home alone for what? Um, five hours? Because I hate it. I've got nothing to do right now. Like, literally, I'm sitting at my desk eating galaxy listening to music like i've got no idea what to do myself right now because i've got nothing to do i've got no videos to edit no college work to do i'm bored of tiktok because i've tiktoked myself out i'm bored of darts because i've also darts myself out my boyfriend's watching football right now so he's not even answering my messages so i thought you know what because i'm bored i thought i would just film a youtube video keep myself occupied talk to my friends talk to my family spend the hours with me evening with me night with me got no idea what this vlog's gonna be i've got a few things i've got to do guys i've got to tidy my kitchen i just spruce my kitchen up a little bit because it's a little bit messy and i want my mom and dad to come home to a nice clean kitchen i'll tidy a lounge because it's a bit messy as well we're having a meal tomorrow so i'm gonna get lounge ready for her tomorrow so now i'm gonna go downstairs oh my dogs it's really dark my house whenever like i'm home alone literally my house is like no one's in my house because the only light on i mean everyone say like well done scarlet for saving electricity bills right here but literally the only light on in my house is my bedroom light the kitchen, the kitchen light is on, but there's literally two lights on in my house. A bit of a dilemma I've got. I need, to, I need to give my dogs dinner, but, like, I need to give my dog his tablet, but I don't know where his tablets are, because there's no tablets left for giving to him. I have to give him his tablet an hour before he has dinner. So, I don't know what this is. Oh, that's the white tablet he has. Does he have any half of that? I don't even know what he has. I've forgotten. I need to call my, need to call my mum and ask her because I don't want to give him, but I don't want to overdose my dog. Look how big those have right? Can we appreciate how big these are? So literally, that. Right, let's call a parent, whatever one will answer their phone first. Right, so I'm going to give my dog his meditation. There you go. To be honest with you, it's really not that messy in my kitchen, but like, it's messy in my head. Blow the dishwasher. Um, but as a few things I put more put in it. I'm gonna wash these things up by hand. Um, I need to put a few things away. I'm just gonna set the camera up and time lapse me tidying up basically. <gasps> oh my god, I've got the hiccups. Let's wash up, guys. Dishwasher on. <laughs> I try and do that on time, on time. My kitchen is like spotless. I would say I would call it spotless. So a good little tour. 
So, Ben just all tidy, all clear. That's just a few things that were on the side. Let's put them all together. I'm honestly not too sure what these round things are on this bit thing, but I'm just gonna leave it like that. <laughs> anyway, if I tie this, tie this, um, I just put that in the sink and that away. Um, I've done all the washing up, that's all drying, I need to rinse that now. Um, and then here, look how the difference guys, it's lovely and spotless and tidy. Dishwasher is on. That is the kitchen all done. And they're gonna be like, wow Scarlett, look at you go. Cause I get called the messiest in the house. We're now gonna go to the lounge and do the lounge because these are the two main rooms that my family go in. So we've got Amelia, so I will probably be in the lounge with um, her a lot because she is like my shadow when she's around. She does not leave me alone. She does not leave me just to do anything by myself. Like she is literally my little mini me. So whatever I'm doing, she has to be doing. So like if I'm doing my makeup, she does her makeup. Quite a lot to do in here, I think. Um, my dad's got a few of his magic stuff left in here because he was getting prepared. He was preparing for a show. There's some washing needs to put away. I need to clear what's on here. I need to just tidy up a little bit and get it all ready for Amelia. Oh my god, I've just seen a dirty plate that was from last night and I could have put it in the dishwasher. That is really annoying. <laughs> That's quite a good place to set you guys up. You can kind of see what I'm going to do. So, Alexa, continue Spotify. Sure. Now the lounge is all spruced up, nice and tidy, nice and ready for Amelia tomorrow. Got her toys there ready. Look how cool that looks on camera. Um, I'm now going to take up the washing that I've just moved. It feels much better now that I've actually like been production and done something. They're 46 minutes away, so in that time being, I'm actually going to like take my makeup off. And while we take my makeup off, we're going to talk about college. Um, Barney. Please. College at the moment is just like really, it's actually stressful. It's like really strange to like compare like my course to my boyfriend's course. Like my boyfriend the other day was like, oh, if I finish my work in class, I don't have anything to do on the weekend or that. Compare that to like my course and how my course is, it's so different. And I really find it crazy how different my course is to his, like my course, like literally what I've got to do outside of college is film my project i've got to decide what i'm gonna film i've got to think of ideas and what to do for my project you know and it's just like it's my course is so different to any other course so right now as i literally have time because right now this is literally my content for wednesday's video uh, it's just me talking to you guys about my life yeah talking about that talking about talking about my life yeah podcast is due i'm due to upload a podcast very soon but it's not happened because Savannah hasn't been home. She, me and my sister have not had any like one-to-one -one sister time in so long. Like it's been forever since me and my sister have had like just quality time together. We just don't see each other anymore and it's really sad really because we was we used to be so close me and my sister just like sit on each other's bed in every single evening we'd be together a few years ago i used to go into my sister's room every single evening and massage her feet and like massage cream into her feet and like give her a massage we'd have sister sister time just us two chilling and i haven't really had that you know for a very long time me and her have very different lifestyles now you know she's at uni i'm at college we're both in relationships so that also makes it a bit harder because we want to spend the time we're not in college and uni to spend time with our boyfriends we've got so caught up in like wanting to spend time with our boyfriends we just kind of have it sounds really sad we've kind of forgotten about 
each other. Because we live with each other, we don't think about, I need to spend time with Savannah, you know what I mean? Like, to be fair, like, my sister hasn't really been living with us recently. Like, and she obviously still lives here, guys, but, like, she, most of the time, is staying at her boyfriend's house. Or she comes home for, like, a few nights and then she's back out again for another week with her boyfriend. Recently, me and her have both noticed it the most, that we're missing each other a lot. I'll be catching you guys up when there's a podcast episode coming out. But it's just really hard at the moment to film a podcast episode because when we are when we do see each other, we don't want to film a video. We want to just like chill and have sister time and bond and talk about things. She's also moving out this year, which is makes it very hard for me because I'm like, well, now I'm just going to see you even more less because you're not even going to have an excuse to come home for like just an evening or whatever. But anyways, I backtracked a lot on my bit of deep conversation there. But guys, look how cute my boyfriend is, right? And um, the other day he was on FaceTime to me eating Moam sweets and I was like please save one for me and he saved one of every single flavour for me and today like he was literally like there you go and I was like you are so cute. I backtrack so much I forgot what I was talking about. This pro college project is a horror found footage film but interactive so how it is obviously it's got to have found footage so there's some kind of like old footage on finds or some kind of something of found footage and how it's got to be interactive is the audience choose the endings so basically you have a clip and then at the end of that one scene two end screen comes up on youtube and it's like ending one or ending two and so different happens in each of the endings they both end a different path that makes it really hard find, trying to figure out what to even do for those two endings. It's like you've got to think of a whole another storyline for one ending to the other. This week is production week, film week, and I've only decided what, I'm gonna, what I was going to do this week. That's how just stressed I was and complicated it is and just how much I did not know what to do because I was so like thrown off by the interaction part, the horror movie part and the fan footage bit. With my college projects, until I know what I'm doing, I'm not okay. Basically, my friend Orla has helped me and came up with an idea. So the fan footage part is, because I'm not very good at acting, I feel like everyone who knows me and does film with me just knows I'm not very good at acting. Like, you tell me to be sad and act angry I will be laughing my head off and acting really happy because I can't act for my life. In all my other projects recently, I've just been like using my sister as my actor or my friends as my actor or my dad, not me. I've not been in one single of my projects and this is the only project that I've actually been in front of the camera for. So anyways, we figured out the idea of my project of being, I'm a YouTuber and I'm coming out of college and I see this piece of paper on the floor. It's come to the subway alone. And then I'm like, oh my God, what is that? What is that? So I go to the subway and there's two objects on the floor. There's a map that has like locations on. And then there's a tape, which I don't know what the tape is. The audience then choose what she picks up, the map or the tape. And if they choose a map that go, they like, she follows the map and something bad happens or whatever. And if they pick the tape, they, she takes it home, plays the tape, and something spooky is on the tape. And then on Thursday, when I was in college, I filmed that. I filmed me coming out of college, picking up the map, picking up the tape, going, what one do I choose? I've now got to do the filming for what happens when she picks up the map. Then what happens when she picks up the tape? And now that's the one bit that's stressing me out, because I'm like, I don't know what to do when she picks up the map. What happens in those locations? I've got no idea. And then I'm also stressing about what's being on the tape. I need to film some footage to put on the tape to then be like, oh my god, this is on the tape and it's cursed me. It's, I'm, I'm good at the first part. The first part was me going, hey guys, going back to my channel today and walking out of college and all this kind of stuff. Now it's a point where I've got to think of things to say and think of things to do. But this bit is just going to be harder and I've got to try and think of things to do. Um, so yeah, anyways guys, I don't actually know what I've told you. I'm doing it right now with my face. I'm just putting these this eye. I'm just going to massage it into my eyes because I'm very tired today. So I need to like, I don't even know what this does for it's just an eye serum. I'm also going to put a star face there just to make myself look better. You see like a spot forming right and then like you put a star face on and it just like disappears. If you have any brainstorm ideas, um, because this video, is, this video is going out on Wednesday, by Wednesday I will still be like not knowing what I'm doing. So please comment down below any ideas you have for me. So let's give my dogs dinner, dinner, dinner before they um, starve to death. It's Barney Bear. He's gonna come and say hello. Hello. Barney, are you hungry? Mm. Would you like some dinner? Would you like dinner? You would? Would you like 
you want dinner? Yeah? Dindins? You want dindins? You do like dindins? Come on then. We like dinner. Dinner, dinner, dindins. Yeah? I'm gonna put in two scoops each. Food, glory, food. Me and my boyfriend, like, what I love so much about our relationship is that, like, football is so important to him, so, like, I let him watch football and I. I don't text him until his football's finished, and then for me, nothing. I don't, I don't really watch anything. So a lot of people say to me that I see my boyfriend way too often. Like, oh, you see him too often. It's never gonna work. Have you seen that often? Like, me and my boyfriend don't actually see each other every single day, guys. Like, we see each. We have. We go to the same college, but we never actually see each other in college. We literally only see each other like five minutes in college sometimes. And I don't even count that as seeing him in college. I count spending time with him is when I'm spending college time with him. Like, I'm around his or he's around mine. We're just spending hours together. That only happens on a Monday, Tuesday, and like a Saturday. Or sometimes, not even a Monday, not even Tuesday, just, just a weekend. Out of the amount of time we spend with each other, I love and I wouldn't replace it for anything in the world because we see each other perfect amount of time a week. Oh my God, this clip has been filming for one hour and 20 minutes. That is might be my cue to end the video now. I'm gonna close this face video right here as I'm now going to sit and edit this video and then I'm gonna face my boyfriend as football's new finished so he'll probably be FaceTiming me very soon. But anyways, hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, comment, share and subscribe and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.